All right, now we're going to look at the, uh, the transformation of curves. I mean, if you think back to year, gosh, seven probably, with the uh, transformations, basically three. No, the three transformations. Translation, reflection, rotation. So let's have a look at translation. And uh, you'll recall, and you'll recall, horizontal shift, that's where we replace x with x minus h, whatever shift is. So we see it's y equals function x minus h, and that'll move at left or right h units, depending on whether h is negative or positive. Basically, if you're unsure which way to move it, then just solve x minus h equals zero, and that'll tell you where the origin has been moved to. Okay, vertical shift then, we'll replace y with y minus k. So y minus k equals function x, though we don't normally see it written like that. We normally see equations with y the subject, so normally we see it as y equals function x plus k. But technically it's actually y minus k equals function x, because it's the y that's being changed. And that'll move it up or down, uh, up or down depending on the plus or minus of the k. And also, if, if for some reason, I mean the function x plus k is a little bit easier to work out I suppose, but should you not be able to work it out, solve y minus k equals zero and, and that'll tell you. So we get something like this. First thing we need to work out is what's the basic curve we're playing with here, and it's our parabola y equals x squared. Now we have two translations happening. We're shifting right three units. So let's move it over, and we're shifting up four units. So let's shift it up. So our origin's been moved to the point three, four. Now this one, going to have to complete the square first to work out what they are. Uh, the shifting's happening. So half the coefficient of x would be 1, half the coefficient of y is negative 2, and completing the square we get 9 on the other side. So we now know we have a circle of radius 3 units. So the basic curve would be x squared plus y squared is 9. The horizontal shift would be left 1 unit. That's when it's grouped with the x. And here's a good example why we do put it as y minus, is in this sort of one. So we have y minus 2, that tells me we're shifting up 2 units. So the centre of the circle is 1, 2, as I say, the radius is 3. Should have really labelled that radius 3, shouldn't I? 2x squared plus 8x plus 5. Well, when I complete the square, I much prefer x squared than 2x squared. So I'll divide everything by 2. Uh, so x squared plus 4x plus 5 on 2. So half the coefficient of x would be 2. Tidying that all up, we get y equals, and now you'll notice I've multiplied back by the 2. So I can see we get y equals 2x plus 2 squared minus 3. So what have we got? y equals x squared, but actually this will be a bit steeper because we've got two lots of the x squared. There we go, make it a bit steeper. And then we have our horizontal shift, 2 units, and our vertical shift, 3 and there we go, vertex being moved to minus 2, minus 3. Okay, reflecting then, the second type of transformation. So that's when we replace the x with negative x. Well, that'll give us a vertical reflection. So y equals function negative x. So it reflects in the y-axis. Now, if you want to reflect in a different line, you can. If you want to reflect in the line x equals a, then we would replace x with 2a minus x. Basically, it becomes a combination of a translation and a reflection because we're reflecting not in a uh, sorry, we're reflecting not in the y-axis anymore. We're translating that axis of symmetry a unit. So why is it two a then? Well, let's see if I can explain. There's y equals function x. So if I reflect it, function minus x, but then shift it two a units. Hopefully you can see that the axis of symmetry of the blue curve and where I've ended up with the red curve, there it is actually at, at A. So if you want to reflect in A, you need to shift it to A units. And you can do a similar thing horizontally. So replace the Y with the negative Y. So we get negative Y equals function X, but again, normally you see it written as Y being the subject. So we're probably more likely to see it as Y equals negative function X. That will reflect in the X axis. But same deal, if you want to reflect in a different horizontal line, then we replace it with 2a minus y, and so we get y equals 2a minus function x. So again, you're shifting at 2a units 
instead of a units. And to illustrate that, let's say that's function x, reflect it, shift it up two a units, and again, have a look at the blue curve and where the red curve ended up, and you'll see that the axis of symmetry is at a. Always do reflection before translation. The order is actually important. So reflection before translation. Now, rotation, the third type of transformation, actually is a couple of reflections. So it's y equals minus function minus x. That would rotate around the origin. So 180 degrees rotation, basically. So let's use this as an example. Here's random curve, y equals function x. So if I was to reflect it first vertically, so y equals minus function x. Now reflect that horizontally, and I get y equals minus function minus x. Have a look at the first picture, have a look at the last picture, and you'll see we've rotated that original picture 180 degrees through the origin. So rotation is actually um, a couple of reflections combined. Y equals minus x plus one cubed plus two. Okay, so it's our basic cubic. We have a reflection happening because it's minus x plus one cubed and do the reflection first. So there's the reflection. Now we'll do our shifting. Left one unit and up two units. And there's our picture. Minus two to the minus x, two reflections. So this will be a, a rotation. Now you could still do it by going, okay, I'll reflect it once, then reflect it again. But if you recognize that double reflection straight away, you know, hey, I've got the rotation. So there's the basic curve, two to the power of x. We're gonna reflect it in the origin. It's another way of saying rotation. It's still a reflection, but we say we're reflecting through the origin. Okay, 3G 